In today's video, I will show you how to crop an image inside your Flutter application without a third party library. So here you can see I have created a Flutter project and inside that uh, I have, we go to main dot dot and I have created my home page widget and uh, so what we will do is that we will first open the camera take a picture crop that picture and then display it inside an image view so i have taken this camera channel and this is the image url uh, which we will get from uh, you know the native side once the photo has been captured and it has been cropped so here you can see in the text button i am just calling this invoke method of opening the camera once the photo has been captured and cropped it will get you an image url so for android it will be an image url but for ios it will be a local identifier because we will be using the new photos framework which is recommended by apple next we will just display these my Im inside a my image view so you can't use flutter uh, flutter's image uh, view widget as far as i know you have to use the native widget so i have created this native widget which you can see over here and uh, we are passing the image url which we are getting and this is important my image view which is the view type okay now we will go to the android side so first uh, what you have to do is that uh, you have to first uh, change this theme to theme dot app dot app compact dot light dot dark action bar in uh, go over here value styles styles dot xml as well as styles dot xml night so in both places you have to change this the reason is that because the library which we are using for cropping image inside uh, this native android uh, th so this library i will show you so this library image cropper it requires this uh, action bar that's why we have to include this action bar otherwise your app will crash so that is the first thing so add this parent change this parent to this okay next inside android manifest you have to add this permission for camera for right external storage as well as important thing is you add this theme as well to the main application uh, tag next inside you also have to add this provider so this is for the camera functionality to work okay we are done with this done with this done with this next inside build.gradle you have to add this dependency so coil is for uh, loading the image activity ktx fragment ktx is for uh, using register for activity results and this is the dependency for cropping the image next uh, we have to go to uh, create inside res create xml folder and inside that providers underscore parse dot xml and you have to add this next inside main activity dot kt uh, i have created a method channel result as well as a uri and here here this is android studios bug so this is a valid code but it is still showing an error but it works perfectly fine and here we are taking the picture and we are calling the camera to open up and here we are actually calling the crop image uh, re register for activity result so here you can see once the image has been cropped it gives you an uri which you are sending it back to the dart side and you have this url file path as well i have just uh, written this in case you are interested now inside configuring flutter channel i am first registering our native image view as well as this camera platform and once uh, this method has been called we are actually checking whether the pa camera permission has been granted or not if not we are requesting the permission and here we are seeing whether all permissions has been granted or not and once we are uh, permission has been granted we are clicking on the open uh, we are calling open camera method which uh, automatically calls the take picture dot launch uri method okay and here we just we get a call back whether the permission has been granted or not if yes just call open camera and here we are just uh, rewriting everything for what all permissions are required also one thing which i want to highlight is that so here you can see that we once we get the uri from uh, camera we are passing it to the crop uh, image dot launch thing right but suppose uh, you don't need to write this uh, register for activity take picture instead the crop image uh, library provides you directly uh, for opening camera as well as requesting image from uh, the photos app so you what you can do is that you pass null over here and you can pass true over here and just call this inside your on create method or uh, whatever method you want so here you will call it uh, here okay but i have avoided that because um, that doesn't seem right to me and most people uh, what they do is typically they will open the camera using camera app or using camera x and then pass this uri to crop image so that's why i have taken this route 
so yeah i think that should be it uh, and also i will show you a video for android so i'm just clicking on open camera then it opens the camera i'm capturing the image then i can crop the image as well as i can uh, you know sc uh, scale or rotate it uh, uh, horizontally or vertically or uh, however i want so, so you can see i'm just selecting part of an image and then i am clicking crop and it displays the image so yeah th that's it and for ios also i will show you the video so i'm clicking on open camera it opens the camera it takes an image okay now it opens the uh, the crop image controller which i will show you in code and i'm crop taking the image i'm rotating it as well okay and then you can just click on the stick mark and then it saves to photos and once it is saved to photo we get a local identifier for it and then we are using that local identifier we are actually loading the image using uh, that okay so as well as okay so that's it for android uh, let me check if i'm forgetting anything no i think that should be it yeah i hope you have added these dependencies as well yeah that should be it for android for ios first of all what you have to do is you have to go to your pods and see uh, select us uh, no before that uh, you have to go to pubspec.ml and for so if you have noticed in the new versions of flutter uh, when you create a flutter project there is no pod file for ios to generate that pod file what i did was i added this dependency so you can add any dependency which is ios compatible so for just for convenience sake i added this url launcher so it automatically creates a pod file for me and what i did was uh, inside your pod file so first you have to add uh, this uh, dependency uh, a pod crop view controller so this will help for cropping the images uh, next what you have to do is you have to go to your pods and select crop view controller and make sure the uh, inside build settings make sure the ios deployment target is ios level 0 0.0 otherwise you will get build error next you have to go to your info.plist and add this camera permissions as well next inside app delegate here you can see i have defined a flutter result as well as a controller at the top and here i am def uh, assigning the controller now we are uh, opening the camera channel which will open the camera so here you can see i am opening the camera and this is registering our image view now once we capture the uh, photo um, we will get the image over here and here we are calling the show crop method so the show crop method will uh, open the crop view controller also don't forget you have to extend this these three things and import this as well once you have opened the camera crop view controller you will see it and it will give you a callback uh, once you get the image so here is the image we and i'm storing the image inside the photos library uh, yeah so that's what i'm doing over here and these are the extension functions which i have created next you have to go create this file so this is boilerplate code for creating any type of native ui component next uh, in my image with native view i'm just taking a ui view and here I am getting the image URL and if I get it I am creating an uh, UI image view I am doing NS layouts then inside get photo library I am passing the local ID and displaying the image so this is how we do that so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye